brand new intelligence leaks targeting the Trump administration, focusing on communications between Russians and the president's advisors, raising sharp questions about the motive now for these leaks. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Shannon Bream, and today from Martha McCallum. Hi, to you. Hello. I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning again. Lawmakers, both sides now, they, they want answers after the resignation of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. President Trump tweeting this just today. The real scandal here is that classified information is illegally given out by intelligence like candy. Very un-American. Senator Trey Gowdy telling us just last hour there are times when a leak to the media can be criminal. And the word leak is such a benign term. It's an unauthorized disclosure which may be illegal. I don't have any idea who it is. I can tell you there is an insatiable appetite for leaks in this town, both on the receiving end and on the giving end. Uh, you didn't hear me talking about WikiLeaks because that was an unauthorized hack. Um, I, I, I'm old school. I don't think you ought to disclose things that are intended to be kept confidential or classified. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is live in Washington. All right, Catherine, what is the latest on the FBI's contact with General Flynn in this process? Well, thank you, Shannon, and good morning. Fox News confirming that the FBI interviewed Flynn just days into his tenure as National Security Advisor about his conversations with the Russian ambassador. The FBI interview came after the January 23rd White House denial that Flynn had not discussed the sanctions. Those White House statements conflicted with electronic intercepts that showed Flynn told the Russian ambassador not to overreact to the sanctions. And those close to Flynn said he, quote, made no promise to the Russians whatsoever of a change in policy. But the conflict between what the White House said publicly and what the FBI knew to be the case raised the stakes for Flynn and the Trump administration because false statements to the FBI is a violation of USC 1001 or the so-called Martha Stewart statute. Fox News is told at this time there is no indication that Flynn misled the FBI in his interview, Shannon.